So I've got this inner cam needle bearing installer and removal tool, which is a great value because it's a uh, two in one, obviously. And uh, it's from uh, MBS Manufacturing. And they're making these tools right here in the USA in Illinois. So here's how it works. Now when this plate goes on, it's going on like this. It's not symmetrical. See, there's no hole here and there's a hole here. That's because there's a dowel right there sticking out. So that's the way it's gonna go for orientation. So the first step is to uh, screw the collet into one of the two holes. So I lubricated the threads and then screwed the collet in until about an inch and a quarter is left sticking out. And this is the uh, larger of the two collets because that's the size of the bearing that's in there because it's a 2017 Dyna. No, I held it up there to the bearing and then gave it a whack with the hammer to get the collet to compress and fully insert in, into the bearing. And then uh, I'm just gonna like unscrew the collet to get the plate to go flush up against the engine case. Then install these thumb screws in the four holes. Got the thumb screws tight. Then I'm gonna stick this uh, T-handle rod in there all the way till it bottoms out. What that does is it sticks through the collet to the end and it keeps these ears spread out so they're grabbing the far side of the bearing so then as we turn it'll pull the bearing out. So then it's just a matter of holding that T-handle firmly in and then taking a wrench and starting to slowly unscrew the collet and it will pull the bearing right out. So now to do the install, I have the collet threaded through the plate again and it's out about two and three quarter inches. One of the old bearings is on here to keep the uh, collet from spreading apart. Then insert the driver into there. Get back on there. Oh, when the driver's in, then the bearing stays in place better. And then take the new bearing and the new bearing has letters on one side and not the other. And the side with the letters has kind of a sharper edge and the opposite side is a little more rounded. So the letters go towards the installer so that the rounded edge is gonna go into the engine case first. So now I have it set up here. The thumb screws all in place. The plate is tight against the engine case. And I'll just uh, take the wrench and start screwing the collet in until the bearing bottoms out. There it is, the new bearing in its home. Just gotta throw in the second one and I'm all done. Great tool.